Good morning, everyone. Wow. This was a challenge. <clears throat> I had to really uh, rig up a different setup for this bunny because he's long. And when I put together the right combination of these things, it was way too long. And so what I did was, is I took, took out the corners and used three of these and just put them up against there. And then I clipped them together with these and made it a more narrow uh, thing. And then I just hot glued it to death. So hopefully that will work and I've used my Cricut heavy duty uh, transfer tape on the bottom got everything down everything's glued um, he's in there cleaned everything's cleaned on the inside and I am mixing up my silicone right now and then I will run it through my vacuum chamber and I hope I mixed up enough. If not, I'll mix up more. <clears throat> but while that's mixing, I was uh, going to make another egg today. But then I thought, you know what? I have had this thing in my cabinet in like forever because I collect these and I realized it was an egg shape. So I thought about making a mold out of this one. So it would be a big egg and so I thought that would be kind of cool um, I have no clue what's in it it looks like bats um, this is glass very heavy piece of glass and so anyway I think that's what we're gonna make a mold of today and so and then I've got six of my puffy hearts ready to go they're all shined up wiped off and i got to figure out something to put those in to make a mold of that so that being said once my res or my silicone is mixed up i'll run it through my vacuum chamber and then i'll be back and we'll pour and we'll see if I have enough. If not, I'll have to mix up some more. So, all right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I mixed up 14 ounces. The, the silicone I'm using this time is a bit different. Um, this is the Zero A Hardness by Let's Resin. It's also a platinum cure silicone but this mix ratio is 1a 1b by weight um, the other one that I used um, was grab that the other one I used was a 15a hardness and it was a little tougher uh, silicone and so hopefully this one here is a much softer resin so hopefully this bunny will be a lot easier to get out and um, so we'll see what happens we'll see if we'll compare the differences between the two okay here we go so I mixed up 14 ounces 7a 7b I do have a lot of dead space in here, but I couldn't make it any smaller. Yeah, I'm going to have to mix up more, which is fine.
Okay, guys, I'm going to mix up more. Be right back. Okay, here we go. Made sure I mixed up enough this time. Okay. There we go. All right. I am going to I found something to put my egg in. I'm going to use one of the big Lutz resin resin mixer cups. And I'm going to have to mix up some more resin, but I think I need to wipe my hands off here so I don't put any fingerprints on it. I'll mix up some more resin. I'll get it um, under silicone, and then these will have to cure, and then we'll come back and we'll get them demolded. Okay guys, we'll be back after these are ready. See you in a little while. Bye. Okay, welcome back everybody. My gosh, this has been an eventful day. All right, I got the bunny out of the housing because I needed the housing for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the puffy hearts. Um, this is how I have it set up. So everything's ready. My silicone is mixing. Um, this morning after I poured the bunny and the egg, I was sitting in there drinking my coffee in peace and quiet and I let Milo in and all of a sudden Milo starts going crazy at the door. And I hear this tunk, tunk, tunk on the door and I thought, what the heck, who's here this early in the morning? So I go around and it's a police officer. And if Milo could have got through that door. Now you guys, Milo is three kinds of German Shepherd. Or Shepherd. He's German Shepherd, he's Malinois, and he's an American Swiss. So if you know anything about Shepherds, they are very protective. And he's white. But the officer didn't seem to be scared at all and I told him I said let me put him put him away first and so then I go and put him away and then I come to the door and he's like I need to look at your ring footage and I go my ring footage because I have a ring doorbell and he said yeah uh, between 5 and 8 p.m. last night and I said oh I said well what's what's going on and he said um, we had your neighbors down the street got their windows shot out of their house. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, two of them. And so I get on my ring camera and show him the footage and there's nothing on there. And then um, later, because I had to go give lab today because my yearly physical is um, coming up. So my husband ran me over to give lab and then came back and then we didn't even notice but he has a work van um, and his work van has all these you know those stickers on them that cover the whole window and then they have like you know holes so you can see through them well um, 
we were, I'm just cleaning up my silicone spatula. Um, but um, he calls me after he drops me off after getting lab and all this other stuff happens. And he tells me, uh, we got hit. And I said, hit. And he goes, yeah, my van got hit. My back window's broke. And I'm like, you're kidding me. And so then we had to call a police officer about that. And then I'm in here working away on these molds. And my daughter, Caitlin, calls me and says, can you go pick up Haley? And I go, bye, from school. And, um, and she said, because I have a police officer at my house. And I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, some drunk guy passed out in my front yard and he was driving and he drove up in my yard and then got out of the car and passed out in my yard. So I have to stay here and I have to give him my ring footage and um, then I got to give him a statement. <laughs> like, what is wrong with this day? Oh my gosh. So today was the day for silly stuff, but yeah, apparently um, on the news, or in our local news, some kids were going around town last night thinking that they were cool and shooting out people's windows. So, yeah, craziness. All right. Okay, are we ready? I hopefully there's enough. Oh yeah, there's gonna be plenty. So it's been a crazy day. But at least I was able to get, get all my molds made. <laughs> oh boy, crazy, crazy. So for this mold, I mixed up 14 ounces. And it looks to be just enough. Sorry, I'm not trying to cover the camera up here. I lowered you guys down so zoomed you in so you could see. Looks like I should have zoomed you back out. Let me do that. There. Now you're not so close. This silicone. I'm just not a fan of the of the zero A hardness because it's so sticky. It's even worse than the 15 A because with silicone, the smaller the numbers, the less hardness there is, and the zero A obviously is the less hard of all of them and so it's going to be the most um, stretchable whatever you want to call it and I got something on the end of my and um, but sometimes no matter what you do the zero A is always sticky no matter what even after it's cured. And I hate that. I've made molds with it before and it's... I've let it cure overnight and sometimes it's just... It's just the nature of the beast. I like the 15A 
it's my favorite. But it's just not really meant for molds that you really need a lot of stretching. So, um, you know, the other day when I was making my other bunny, I totally forgot that I had some extra silicone left. And so I um, grabbed one. You remember at Christmas time when I was doing um, my snow globe thingy and I put a little penguin inside of it? Remember these little penguins? Guess what I did? I made a mold of him. And I totally forgot it. And it's been sitting over there on my side table over here forever. So I took him out. So now I have a little penguin mold too. So that'll be cute. I just had enough silicone left to, to mold him up. All right. Okay, guys, uh, we will let this one cure, and then we will come back and we will unmold this one, the egg, and the bunny, all of the all three of them. So it'll probably be later this evening when all the these this one's done. Um, this one's not quite so thick and deep so it probably won't take as long um, to cure so we will be back when this one's cured all right guys have a good uh see it's 4 50 my time so almost five o'clock so everyone have a nice dinner if that's what time zone you're in and i'll be back with you later okay guys bye hi everyone welcome back well this is not quite ready. Well, maybe it is. Never mind. Anyway, um, I wanted to get some of these out of these molds. Um, let's do the egg, the big egg first. Um, it's uh, ready to come out of here. Um, I've got it already loosened up. I don't know if I can do this with this this thing in the way comes out of here fairly easy <laughs> and we have a egg mold so that's what that one looks like perfect all right and mr. bunny Hopefully he comes out of here real easy. Get my hands in there. I need to set him down because I can't. I'm gonna put some alcohol in there. Just to help slide him out of there. He's kind of hard to squish around. He's a thick one. Okay. Let's see if I can get him out this way. And boom. Mr. Bunny's out. Nice and shiny. Very nice. So now I've got two bunnies, two eggs. And I guess we can go ahead and disassemble this and
course everywhere that that touched those hearts because it had alcohol inks on it. It's all gooey. Or it could be that it wasn't done yet either. sit and let it finish curing. So I'm going to set it over here. Way and just let it finish curing. Now I'll get all this off of here and then if it'll come off of here stuck. All right, guys, let me get this cleaned up and then I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Got all that mess cleaned up. Now, what do you guys think about pouring into this egg today? Let's see how deep this baby is. This thing is three and a half inches deep. So, I think with it being that deep, we're gonna have to use deep pour. Hmm, let me think, 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 think. And then the bunny at its deepest is two and a half. So that one should be okay on this one. Let's see what this one is. At its deepest, same two and a half, two. So these will be okay to pour. Just yes, I put plastic on them because I want to protect them. And then the egg is also two and a half. So I want to wait to pour these bunnies because I kind of want to do join Tracy's Easter collaboration. So, um, I think I want to wait to pour these for her Easter collaboration. So... I think I will wait on these, but I do want to cover cover these up. So I don't want them to get dirty inside. Um. I'll tell you what guys, let's not pour any in any of the molds tonight because it's already eight o'clock 
and so I will wait to pour in molds and now that I've got them all done and we know how to pour molds <laughs> then I will wait till in the morning to demold the puffy hearts and then I got some new molds today from Let's Resin so good morning everyone I think these are good enough to take out they're sticky Ugh. Ugh. It's the only thing I don't like about this. Milo's telling you guys good morning. quiet down just a little bit. Let me get some gloves on here. Sometimes when you put something in um, silicone, if it doesn't like what you put in it, which is possible because these have um, alcohol inks on the back of them. And the silicone may not like the alcohol inks that were on the back. Just a second. up. So one thing about making molds is you never know what's going to react with the silicone. He doesn't like something going on out there. I just put these in for fillers. Grab my scissors here. Trim off some of these edges.
Didn't have any police come to my door today, thank God. <laughs> oh, goodness, yesterday was crazy. I can clean this up later. I don't have to do this on camera. But there we go. We've got this one has some bubbles in it. But I think it's far enough below that you can't see it. Same here. Um but yeah. So there's my six cavity puppy heart mold. Put that aside. All right. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. I know this was a long one, but um, when you're making molds, it's not a, a slow, quick process. So, all right, guys. Well, hope you learned something and um, let me know if there's anything you guys want to see me making these new molds I mean other than the bunny and the eggs and that I want to get in on Tracy from mini scenes um, she's doing an Easter collab so um, I want to get in on that so um, hopefully I can get something made up for that and we will uh, we will catch you guys on the next video. All right, guys. Have a good day. Bye.